Hi everyone, I'm Michelle. Welcome back to my channel. This week I have another lovely gray style to show you. This is Alva by Noriko in the color Silverstone. I'd like to thank wigs.com for sending me this beautiful style so that I can review her for you. And uh, also to mention that I am a moderator for their private Facebook group. Uh, and it's just a wonderful group where you can exchange ideas and information, ask questions, or just show off your beautiful styles. And we'd like to invite you to join us there if you haven't done so already. So let's go ahead and look at Alva here. This is really a surprise to me, this little style. I typically uh, reach for monopart or monofilament uh, styles and Alva here is a basic style, so she has some permatease at the surface here. Um, but I can see how it really helps create this beautiful shape to this style. So what I wanna do is we'll go ahead and look at some of the details. First, as I said, this is a basic cap, so you do not have a lace front and you do have some permatees at the surface here. I did play with these fibers already a little bit and styled them a little bit. I definitely shook the wig vigorously and combed through the surface here to try to uh, remove some of that obvious permatees look to disguise the permatees a little bit, I think is the best way to put it. And um, this side had a little flip when she came out of the box. So I used a plastic hot air brush kept it moving, didn't keep it in one place for too long, and just relaxed this flip a little bit in the front here. Um, you can maybe see in the back there's still a little bit of a flip and uh, I may work on that. So that's the style. You have some beautiful shorter pieces in the front here that frame the face so nicely. You have a fringe and now these bangs are a little on the long side and I think they do that intentionally so that you can customize these uh, the way you would like them and what would suit your face shape. I definitely have this positioned correctly. So for me, these are a little bit long and I definitely want to trim those and we will do that together. Um, and let's go ahead and get a good look at her from all sides. Here she is from the right and the back and the left. So just a very pretty style. My husband just came in and saw me wearing her and just thought, wow, that's very different, but actually very pretty. Um, and I think the color is working for me as well because you have these darker tips uh, and my bio hair, the little bit I have left of it is actually very dark brown. So this is actually, I feel very comfortable in this color. So we will go over the cap construction We'll do a little customizing and go over some styling options. And lastly, I'll take Alva outside so we can get a good look at this beautiful color in natural light. Okay, so here we have the cap construction. Alva is a basic cap wig and uh, as you can see, this is the top. There is no mono part or mono top and no lace front on this style. Of course, you have the bangs there. And then we have open wefts on the side and in the back. We have ear tabs with metal stays, uh, a standard nape, not an extended nape, and we have bra strap style adjusters so you can adjust her to your circumference. Uh, and the open wefts are nice and stretchy. So I will say um, that you can see that I have loosened these adjusters. Actually, I think it came this way uh, as much as I possibly can. I have a 22 inch circumference head and uh, I find that this cap fits me comfortably. So I checked for permatees and uh, as we mentioned before, there is absolutely permatees on the surface here. Let me give you a good look at that. So you can see now, you absolutely can disguise that permatease and it certainly adds volume uh, to this style. So absolutely permatease throughout the top area. I also found it in other areas, but less towards the nape, which I thought was interesting. And I think it's what allows this style to feel very low density. Um, and yeah, so overall, I would say this is a very comfortable cap construction um, and certainly has a bit of permatease, but just a very comfortable cap. So let's go ahead and trim these bangs. As you can see, they are definitely too long for me and falling right in my eyes or past my eyes actually. 
um, and I will absolutely want to trim those so that this style is more comfortable. And uh, thankfully, this the bangs are already there, so I'm not creating a brand new section of bangs. I'm just trimming what's already there. So the way I like to do this is I take a headband and I'm going to pull the fibers back so that I'm not adding any additional bangs. I really just want to trim what is already there. So this helps keep the longer pieces out of the way. And uh, what I like to do is the uh, twist and trim method. I've shown this on my channel before, but I'm going to just take the center section here. I'll even leave these longer pieces because I like having a little bit of an angle towards the edge here. Just make sure that I have everything. And then I just really make this as smooth as possible. And you want to pull this down to your nose. You don't want to angle it outward. I'm pulling it as close to my nose as possible. And I'm just going to trim a little bit at a time. And the twist method involves twisting once, place your second hand over that and twist it a second time so that this is the shape it creates. And then I have my shears. And now I'm just going to snip, point cut the ends. If you're new at this, go very slowly, do a little bit at a time, and be careful not to cut your fingers. Okay, let's go ahead and see if we like that. That is so much better. And I did add a little bend to these bangs previously as well. You definitely wanna do that before you start trimming because of course, that will make the fibers look shorter as well. We could do a little more. But let me go ahead and remove the headband and see how I like that. So definitely better, still on the long side. Let's do this a second time. Please excuse my facial expression here. I'm focused, not angry. All right. All right. That's definitely good now. Let's go ahead and take the headband out. There we go. That's how I like them. And they still look wispy, not too, not blunt cut straight across, you know, and you can still side sweep them. But if the wind blows and whatnot, this amount of uh, over the eyes won't bother me. I like that a lot. Okay. So next we will go ahead and look at some styling options for Alva. Because this is a low density style and most of the volume I think you're getting is because of the permatease um, that is just creating this lovely shape. Um, but because it's low density, I feel like there's a lot you can do with this style. Um, first, I always like to test the ear tuck. I usually do a little half tuck because that helps obscure any bio hair that's a different color there or if you just need more coverage. So a little half tuck is cute. You could really do that on either side. You could even do a full tuck. Um, that is working pretty well. So that's a good way just to keep the fibers out of your face throughout the day if you're working and you really don't want to feel fibers or if it's a warm day. Um, and then another option I always like to look at is the headband. And I think this style works really well with a headband because you have these lovely bangs that come down and add a bit of softness and hide any wrinkles and uh, just all kinds of benefits to having bangs. Um, so yes, I want to show you the coverage. Now the ear tabs are right here. It's a little hard to see you. The bangs are in the way, but I'm bending them up and back down. And so the ear tabs are coming from here to here on me. I can fit approximately a finger's width on each side. It's a little hard to feel it. There we go. Yes, about a finger's width. So that's the coverage I'm getting. Um, and yeah, I just think this is really pretty. You can pull as much of the bangs down as you want or leave them pulled back. And this is what that looks like from both sides. A great little look. And lastly, I want to try the ponytail. I'm a big fan of ponytails in the summertime. And I think the bangs again really help with this look because you have that, you know, the fibers in the front that make it look nice and soft. And of course, 
The bangs are very realistic looking. You don't have to worry about making sure that your lace front isn't uh, showing or obvious or that there are dark knots or whatever the concerns might be. So I do like bangs for that reason. And I'm wrapping this three times. So that's confirming to me that that is low density. Not the lowest density I've ever experienced, but low density. And now um, some of the shorter fibers, of course, want to come out. So I'm just going to tuck those behind my ears. Keep in mind, my dark bio hair is showing a little bit and I left it uh, tucked under the cap. But this is just to give you an idea of what this might look like on a 22 inch circumference head. We'll look at her from all sides. Here we are from the right and the back and the left. So yeah, just a cute little ponytail style, a very fresh look and nice and cool. The only fibers you're going to feel this way are the bangs. Um, so I absolutely love that. I love that this style has a bit of versatility and um, you can absolutely play with it and achieve a, a number of different looks. So next we'll go outside and get a good look at this beautiful color in natural light. Okay, so here we are outside. It's been raining, but hopefully it will stop raining long enough that we can uh, get a good look at this beautiful color out here in the natural light. Again, the color is Silverstone, and let me read you the description. So the description is dark brown base with multi-gray shades blended. And I absolutely think that the colors are blended beautifully. Um, and you have the lighter fibers in the front here, which I think is such a striking look. Uh, and then it graduates to a little bit darker gray and then fairly dark gray tips. Uh, and I think that kind of is an edgy look. Uh, I, I just love it. I think uh, this makes me feel comfortable because it has a little bit of that depth of color here at the tips uh, that I'm familiar with with my darker bio hair. But I have the coloring, so let's get a good look at it. Um, and I separated these fibers out so that we can see the three different lengths. I uh, hope you can see that. So we have uh, the darker gray here. And I know they say brown, but I see more black or it's very dark brown. And then we have that lighter silver and that's what you have in the front here. You have a lot of that here in the bangs and blended throughout. And then more of the medium gray shade here. So those three colors are blended throughout. Again, more of the dark ones sort of at the tips and I think also at the nape a little bit. When I do my spin, I'll lift it so that you can see. Um, but just a very wonderful, interesting and striking gray color, I think. Let's look at the details. So of course we have the front there and that's the basic cap, but covered by these beautiful bangs and uh, a little bit of permatease at the surface. Um, so let's get a good look at her from all sides. Here she is from the right and the back. And let me show you the nape area. A little bit darker, I think. And the other side. So yes, just a very pretty blended dark and silver gray color with striking highlights in the front. So final thoughts. Alva here really is just a bit of a surprise to me. This is not, to be honest, a style that I would typically reach for. Um, because this is a basic cap and I really prefer mono part and mono top styles. But I have to say that the style is just beautiful and I do think that the permatease adds this lovely rounded shape that I think is difficult to achieve uh, with a mono top and mono part. Um, so I absolutely see why this is such a popular style and looks so good on so many different face shapes. Um, so I'm just delighted. Lovely mid-length sleek bob style um, with these beautiful bangs that we trimmed a little bit. Um, and as you saw, these, these bangs are tapered. You just have this lovely, uh, you know, progression of length there along the face and you can tuck this style. The density is nice and low, so you're not getting any kind of an ear bulge. Um, and you can tuck both sides if you like, or one at a time, lots of options. And of course, um, we looked at the headband and the little ponytail style as well. So love the versatility with this style. Um, 
And I have to say the color is stunning. Uh, I've been researching gray colors a little bit, and this is definitely one of my favorites. I love that we have these dark edgy tips here, not extreme at all, but just a little bit. Uh, if you look closely, you can see, oh yeah, it's darker at the tips. Um, and then these bright uh, silver white uh, fibers right around the face, I think in the bangs, uh, and then blended throughout is such a beautiful striking look. So I absolutely love this color. I think it's stunning. And again, I think this would look good on a lot of different skin tones. So overall, I give the style and the color a thumbs up. Certainly, if you don't mind a basic cap and a little bit of permatease on the surface, I think you will love this style. So overall, I hope that this review has been helpful and informative, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.